You know what you're here for. We're gonna fly some quads, right? Something like this. What do you call these? That's Mini sweet. Quad. That's this sweet. is a sick quad. I love this quad. What are you what talking about? That thing's too what? tiny. What in the? This thing is a giant racing drone. That is a monster. Guys, this is Zoe FPV. I think more people know you from your 3D background. So tell us a little bit about like what X-Class is and all that. Yeah, so X-Class is a community-based uh, organization that's really focused on driving drone racing forward. Uh, mini quads aren't the most spectator-friendly things in the world, and uh, we like big drones. So we waited for other leagues to kind of open up and allow us to play with their toys, and no one was allowing us to play with their toys, so we built our own. Uh, in late 2016, we held our first X-Class AMA race, and that was a lot of fun and since then we had a complete full season last year and this year we're bringing it to racing tracks in California. The machines I brought with me have actually beat the times of cars on the same tracks. Well Zoe we're really psyched that you brought these monsters out here. Why don't you give us a demo of what they can do. Heck yeah! Let's do it! Yeah, because I saw you put this whole thing together, how you printed this, like I want to know everything. This is the original prototype setup with the original prototype canopy. It's 3D printed. So this is underneath the hood. We have B-Rotor 80 amp ESCs. These are currently the world's fastest ESCs. I helped them develop these out. So they used the uh, four of these on a mini quad to get it going 170 miles an hour. Fastest recorded time right now. But the biggest thing on this next class in general is that a lot of people have uh, flame outs and stuff, like we push machines really hard, so it's mm -hmm. important to have ESCs that are overrated for what you're actually doing. My bigger setup will do 400 amps continuous and 800 amps burst. Oh my god, it's, like, it's like having a highly modified turbo car, where it's like, you can get into it, but if you lay on the throttle, it, yeah. redline it, you're just gonna blow the motor. Well, it's the big thing, like in MotoGP especially, like the racers, they want that top end speed, so when you need to get around somebody, you have it in your vehicle to do it. Can you tell us the size and the KV on these motors? Yeah, so these ones are pretty small. This is actually the smallest X-Class motor out right now. These are the 4114 400 KV motors from Team Vondron. What is that, four, what, so 41? 41 millimeters uh, in width and 14 millimeters tall. Okay. The bigger X-Class motors we have are like like 6,000 or yeah, the 600 range. Mm -hmm. And they're like 250 grams. This is like 150 grams. Okay. And then all these 3D printed bits, this is TPU. TPU. I use it on my mini quads as well. I mean, it makes for a great GoPro protector, but I see you're using it to mount the ESCs. We're also using it for uh, soft motors. motors. Okay. Yeah. Last but not least, this decorative squid boy here. What? <laughs> <laughs> this one is out of PLA. The other one is out of TPU. And this is actually going to be released open source as well. So really? you can print out your own canopy if you want. Yeah. I like the graphic that you put on there. <laughs> so a lot of people have misconceptions about this canopy like why did you put this giant stupid fin on it in turns these machines are so heavy they tend to balloon up and out okay so this fin actually helps lock the machine in, in the corner it puts a little less effort on the motors to yaw it yeah and it kind of helps kneel it into the corner and kind of puts you where you want to go yeah on our typical mini quads I mean we consider aerodynamics but for the you most really part the to. size of them yeah doesn't matter as much I think once you start getting to this scale having like a real racing fin. I mean, Especially that's what this is, Especially when you're it's going crazy. speeds about 400 or 140 miles an hour. Right. Like you really, the aerodynamics come into play after you get past 70 miles an hour. Like every little bit makes a big difference. <laughs> you want one of us to fly it? Oh, yeah, man. you guys should oh, row wow. shampoo for it. Row <laughs> shampoo. I win. Row shampoo. <laughs> I committed to the rock. <laughs> Always commit to the rock. So, so essentially, Kevin, I wanted to be the first pilot because he's the best experience. Well, at least. I, I, oh! oh! Best experience, experience. Oh! He's been in the game. Oh! 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 Oh!
here we go. Okay, quad is armed. Well, hold on to your butt. Here we go. Dude, it looks so cool. It's freaking sweet. You got this bot, you're killing it. This is pretty fun, man. This is completely different, like, it feels like a quad, right? But you know it's this giant thing, so. You, yeah. you kind of like fly it a little different, I feel like, but. Get up high and do a barrel roll. All right. Do a barrel Whoa, roll. Don't, don't full stick it. Okay, I'm gonna wait for these houses and roll. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that's so cool. I don't know why it's so excited. It does. Know. I've spent countless hours on the canopy, and it's so cool to see. Woo! Oh, it's so cool! It looks so cool. It looks like it shouldn't be able to do that. It flips no. a lot faster than I was expecting. Enjoy oh, that. That is sorry. a treat right there. Oh, okay. Like, let's get a fresh life up. <laughs> Boom! It's not that bad, right? Not bad at all. We're gonna do an open air split us. Roll and pitch out of it. Wow, it doesn't drop as fast as you'd think for how big it is. Yeah, yeah and you're also on one of the lightest X-Class setups. Like that one's really kind of tuned out for freestyle versus I'm gonna speed. Split us over the trees. Oh! Oh, it's so cool. Boom! Oh god! Oh, oh dude, that pull out is terrifying. I was full throttle to get out of that. That was awful. Okay, yeah. I really see what you're saying. When you yeah. put more energy okay. into it, remember you have to back that energy out of it. So as you're putting energy over the tree and then you're powering down, mm -hmm. you have to have even more time to react to that. I kind of want an inverted Yasmin. What do you think about that, Zoe? Inverted? Yaw spin, it doesn't do it. It doesn't do oh, it. Man. Ah, it doesn't do okay, it. Battery, battery, battery. Well, I got the juicy flick, but <laughs> failed at the yaw spin. Yeah, you know what you gotta do is the power loop. <laughs> no yaw authority at, at that low throttle. throttle. Yeah, yeah. yeah you That's might have to true. carry a little bit of extra throttle so, to do it. So, the biggest that. thing we need help with on that is like we need developer support to start adding filters to these things. Well, like, you're taking firmware hurts. that's been optimized at its core for five inch high rate. Acrobatics, and then you're you're trying to make it work with like custom filters and stuff on. <laughs> Thanks for letting me fly this. Oh this heck yeah, nuts. that was awesome. <laughs> I love seeing this thing in person. Power loop, man. Power loop time. Power loop. <laughs> So cool. Whoa, okay. All right, I gotta try a power loop right away. He's going for it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, that's yeah. so cool. All right, tight. <laughs> nice, bro. That's so cool. <laughs> Actually, really close. <laughs> <laughs> that looks super. I can count the LEDs on the arm. <laughs> thrust to weight ratio on this is not like our mini quads. It has a lot of thrust, but it also has a lot of weight. It does not transfer that forward motion into backwards motion right. as quick. You have to make the climb very slow with a lot of time spent like this to arrest the forward motion and get the backwards motion. It's just that it's got a ton of momentum mm -hmm. and like you so can get the feel for it, yeah. but yeah. It is a lot like flying a tiny whoop. And I feel like I, I, in a weird way, I just did my first X-Class power loop, but I feel like I did my first tiny whoop power loop. I've never been able to make those work either. That was more differenter than I expected. And I knew it would be different, but it was even more differenter. You can only go up in like 5% increments, it feels like. So if I'm at 30% throttle and I raise to 40% throttle, I hear a change in the motor, but anything above 40%, I can just wiggle the stick. It's not doing anything until the motors catch up to 40%, and then I can go up another 50%. Like, you have to work it your way up, because I went to 100, and I was like, it's not, and I'm like wiggling it, and I'm like, it's still spooling up just as much. Like, it's, it just, it takes a minute for all that, like, whoo, to. Well, I mean, this one prop weighs 30 grams. It's pretty right. heavy. And these motors are the really props big. are heavier than some entire quads. Like <laughs> <laughs> seriously, like shout out to Master Airscrew. They developed the propeller for giant racing drones, and it's something that we really needed. And it has a 12-inch pitch, so it's really aggressive and gives us that speed that we've been wanting. It's one of the biggest complaints with these giant drones: they've been too slow, or they're mm -hmm. just not maneuverable enough. And uh, that's one thing that I've been really looking to change because 
Yeah. I mean, as mini quad pilots, you want the ability to throw around a machine and have fun with it. And I think this starts breaking into that territory. I mean, you don't have that instant reaction with the mini quad, but mm -hmm. you can still have a lot of fun with it. I mean, I like how this is going to change the format of racing. Something I don't really like about mini quad racing is that you can't watch it. Like, I have no idea what's going on third person. And even first person, even if you're in the goggles, you just see these like blurs go by you. With this, you're going to be doing these longer sweeping things. And I think you're going to have a lot more like, formation racing where everyone's oh, yeah. in a pack trying to pass. picking where to pass. Right. So this was really fun to take this giant machine that was really built for racing and try to do some of our freestyle maneuvers. I think we have to take this to a proper freestyle spot. What would the best spot be? No, it's a bando. You know it's a bando. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Guys, we're at the perfect bando. Unfortunately, the rain has started. We've got to move faster because Zoe, you cannot leave Detroit <laughs> without freestyling a bando with your giant drone. It's going to be sick. I can't wait to see this. I'm kind of terrified, actually. Dude, like that smokestack over there looks epic. Okay. I want to take it through the building to our side and then- Wait, like in? Yeah. Dude, that's gonna look insane oh going through. Hell yeah. And like, we should get some follow footage. Right, my only request is please power loop that beam. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, we gotta go. It's raining. Let's do this. That's pretty much all we got. It's officially too rainy to continue. <laughs> Thank you for taking us on this adventure with your yeah. giant drone for the bandos. That is insane. I never thought I would see an X Class do something like that. Yeah. that I awesome. never thought I'd get a chance to let all three of you fly that thing. It's new, it's different, and to see your all reaction and to see how fun it is, I mean, that's just something amazing. For this me. has got me sold. This has got me sold in X Class. Yeah. I'm gonna have to try it out. It was more intense than I expected. I mean, like, I've seen the videos and I was like, okay, so they're big, but then when you hear whoosh, it's like, oh, you, the, the you sound of those props yeah, cavitating. God, it sounds like it's just beating you. Yeah. Check out Zoe's channel where you can see more X class flying and of course some 3D flying which you may uh, which you may know her from. Yeah. She's always trying new and different things, so check that out. If you want to check out my friend, check out Dysonian.com. Me and my friend are building them out of the San Francisco Bay Area. It's currently the only giant racing drone frame on the market and it's pretty durable and pretty awesome. I think you'll like it. If you'd like to support us, please visit store.rotoriot.com where you can buy all of our products. If you're into drones, build them, crash them, fly them. We love it. We hope you love it. A big shout out to Master Airscrew for developing out the 13 by 12 by 3 propellers for X-Class. Shout out to China Line Tattoo for developing batteries for the class. Big thank you to Team Dysonian and Dysonian himself for putting the effort and time to help me develop out these frames. And finally, thank you to Team Von Drone for putting all the effort into the motors and stuff. You're a real community-based organization and you've put so much effort and time into building these giant drones out for everybody that uh, I just want to say thank you. It's amazing. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Press the like button now. Right now. We'll know oh, if yeah, you didn't. We'll know if you didn't. Thank you.